hey guys what's up so in this video we will discuss like you know different ways to control visibility of the browser let's say you want to detect the tab change or you want to detect you know any kind of um, page change or visibility change whatever it okay so using uh, we have actually two methods that we will be discussing here first is using window object directly and the other one is using visibility api okay and i would say visibility api would be slightly more reliable because uh, window ob window blur object will trigger at times where you may or may not expect it to trigger but visibility api is more accurate but visibility api only helps you when you are operating within the browser let's say you are switching between tabs so let's say i have this okay let's say i have this and let's say if i go to google and come back here and if i do this kind of tab switching then visibility api will work it's basically you know whenever your page is visible it is dependent on that however the window thing that i'm talking about it is basically a callback so whenever i if you see uh, i switch from browser the page is still visible but i'm my active tab is not the browser right in those cases window api would work in those cases visibility api won't work okay so let's quickly see let's first start with the window api because it is more easy and straightforward approach so what we will do is uh, before that i'll just quickly walk you through the current boilerplate that we have so we have created a reference to the video ref uh, in order to you know play and pause video so what our purpose would be whenever we are focusing on the browser we would play this video automatically and when we defocus from the browser move out or switch tabs we will you know pause it and there can be n number of use cases let's say you had a page you know which was bigger than this let's say you had a lot of items in here then and you want to make this thing visible when uh, you, let's say you had a dashboard and you want to make an api call only when the user reaches to that point you can use it in those cases also and there can be n number of use cases okay i'm just showing you one of them so currently what we will be doing is we will make the video player but whenever user changes the browser tab or whenever they you know move out of the browser we want to pause it okay so that's the idea all right so let's try quickly so first i will uh, first i've added video reference play and pause video function callbacks i've added and then i've added a div which is full screen i'm using tailwind css and inside that i've placed video at the center and if it is not found i would just do some error message but since it is there i've located it in my public directory so it is able to render it okay now we will add a use effect so if i go like this and i will be triggering it only once that is equivalent to component did mount in class lifecycle methods so basically what this means is that whenever the component is rendered on the page then i want to trigger this effect okay nothing else and in case if we if we had something like let's say some particular value we had if that changes we want to trigger on every of that but i mean in trigger every time the value change then it would have been added into this dependency array anyways this is not a use effect video so let's move on and we will check if the window object exists just to be super sure so window object if you see here if i click on window you can see that you know it is a big big object and it has a lot of properties okay so we have like a uh, document and all that so we just want to be sure and then what we will do is we will add a callback to window dot on blur okay what this means is that whenever uh, you know whenever this particular window gets defocused let's say we change the tab or let's say we change even if we change uh, you know the browser so currently you can see that it is a little bit hazy kind of thing so it is not focused but if i click here you can see that it is focused now so whenever this focus is changed then we do this okay so that is what the callback is about so let's add a first let's add a console log window focus has been changed okay so here we will go and let's quickly uh, first let's go to the code and i think it is running so let's have these next to each other okay so let me minimize this and let me reload this one all right so if you see currently i am in the window but let's say if i go out of the window so you can see that window focus has been changed so this particular on blur object has been triggered now let's say i have came back and let's say i go to google and then i come back here you can see that it is showing two basically triggering it again so let's say if i go again and then come back again it becomes three all right so now what we will do is we will uh, do we will remove this one and whenever it is blur we will just you know uh, just do a pause video thing okay so what this means is that whenever we move out of the page or the visibility thing or defocus then it will pause it okay now let's see if it is working fine or not so here i played so now what i'll do is i'll play this video so i hope you are able to listen to the song now let's say i come back so you can see that as i move out it automatically pauses it right so that is the idea so this is one way okay and not even this let's let me come back now even if i switch the tabs it does the same thing okay so that is what it is about so this was one way okay i think this is very simple forward straightforward method and this may be very useful so this is the most simplest approach that i would say you can go ahead with now let's go and check out the visibility api okay in the second use case where you want to you know let's say render a data when user opens a particular component or a particular thing is visible then only you want to make an api call and so on so for those use cases visibility api is much better okay so what do we do in visibility api let's see actually we don't need to comment this whole thing out we can just comment out this part and what we will do is we will just add a you know document dot add event listener 
and we will add this as visibility change and then we will add a callback where we will just console log visibility change to and then we will say document dot visibility state okay so if I take it here refresh remove this and reload this page so now uh, we have added so basically the event listener has been added but since the visibility has not changed even once so that's why we don't see any logs but let's if we go to the other tab and come back so you can see that it was changed to hidden and now it is back to visible it was hidden when we switched the tab but when it came back it became visible again okay so this is the use case but if you see if i switch to if you know i remove the focus let's say if i go here it won't trigger because the tab is still visible however if i minimize it so let me clear the console and click on minimize and then if i maximize it you can see that it again triggered so it is all about only visibility okay it doesn't care uh, where it is uh, visible how much of the portion is visible as long it is visible as long as it is visible it is going to you know trigger this effect okay no matter how many times i change the browser it doesn't uh, do anything about that okay so so I hope you are clear that what is the difference between these two APIs and when you, you would want to use one. And of course, don't forget to clean up this, uh, clean up the event listener by whenever you unmount the component. So now, you know, we will do the cleanup once it is removed. All right. So you can see that uh, whenever we switch tabs, then it is hidden and visible. And then we can, you know, uh, just make this like this. If document dot visibility state equal to, uh, if it is hidden, we will do pause video and else we will do play video so play video will you know basically mean that whenever this is visible then we want to auto play it of course this is not needed if in case you don't want to go it go like this way but when you want it can be you know when when basically whenever the page comes in you want to play it automatically so let's see what happens so when i click on this when i change the tab so it must be paused when i come back it auto plays right <laughs> And if I go back, it is automatically paused. So this is how you can, you know, make use of visibility API. And as I told you, there can be n number of use cases. But my purpose was to just make you aware of this, how you can use both of this window.onblur and visibility API to take control over things. So the another use case that you may be thinking of is, let's say, what happens if someone closes the browser, right? Now, if someone closes the browser, this action won't be, you know, sustained because it is in front end. Browser is closed, so you cannot keep a track of this. So what you can do instead is you can make a API call to the backend that the, maybe the session has closed or something like that. You can, you know, pass in some data and make an API call. So how I will be demonstrating this is you can see that I have a backend API in API folder I have hello which basically locks and returns this response okay so we will do the same thing here we will just see in the backend um, so now what we will do is we will make an API call so if the visibility is hidden what we will do is we will just add fetch and make the API call to the route hello and then we will do uh, keep alive to true so that uh, our API call should happen properly so keep alive to true is done and then we will uh, we don't need to specify the method to get but let's keep it okay so now whenever this happens even if the browser closes we will be able to track it from the back end okay and instead of api triggered let's name it as browser closed okay browser closed or switched something like this all right so we have saved this and let's go back save it here as well let's refresh this page so you can see that it got paused and let me and now if i show you the terminal so we have browser closed or switched but even if we you know close this browser it still will trigger it okay so this way you can handle um, browser closing events also you will need to have a backend you know let's say you want to capture how much time users spent on your uh, front end and all do all those kind of stuff for that you definitely need to you know uh, make this uh, thing uh, i mean make these all arrangements visible and all that so yeah that's the requirement and you will need to have a backend because you don't have a control over front end once the browser is closed you don't have you know the tab access and anything but in backend you can definitely do this and another example would be even if i do you know so even if i close the whole browser let's say if i do it like this i'll still get this triggered okay so that, that is how you can take control of your browser so i hope this video was helpful here we covered all the three possibilities that can happen in case if you are figuring out anything else any other possibility feel free to put it down in the comments so that i could get into it and then i could you know come up with some solution and introduce the same to you and if, if you have any doubts if you have any questions or if you are getting stuck anywhere feel free to ask in the comments as well thank you very much and have a great day Bye bye